Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Doctor Strange Battle on Titan Edition from Avengers Infinity War. And this is probably the best SH Figure Arts Doctor Strange figure to date, just simply because it has the cloth goods, finally. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And let's not waste any more time and bust this thing open and see how we got. Looking really, really cool. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging looking really good and he does come with a lot of accessories. This is probably the most I've seen in a while. And I think given the price, you do get a bang for your buck. Uh, we even got some effect parts. Kind of wish you'd get another head skull, but I think it's already good enough. Let me know in the comments on what you think and let's check it out. Alright, and here we have the figure itself. And I think it goes without saying that this is the best one tail scale Doctor Strange in the market right now, at least until the Mayfax one comes out. Um, I never really liked the previous versions of Doctor Strange from SH Figure Arts, simply because of the plastic cape, it just makes it really unfun. But obviously the cloth cape here looks really, really nice. Um, there's a lot of attention to detail on it as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly one-to-one -to, -one to the movie, but I think this is close enough. It looks really, really nice. There's a lot of details on there. And yeah, let's just take a closer look at the figure. I think they did a really good job with head sculpt here. Um, it's basically exactly the same as the previous Doctor Strange, but the cloth cape just makes it that much better. And yeah, all the attention and detail is there, and I think we can jump straight into the articulation. It's pretty straightforward. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much. You can tilt his head side to side, no problem. And the collar is on a softer material. And the cloth cape, um, it's got wire all around. And it's one of those thicker wires, so it's really nice. Um, I don't think I'm going to break anything anytime soon. And um, I find this very interesting. Um, instead of plastic, we have cloth cape now. But the engineering is basically exactly the same as the previous Doctor Strange. Huh. And for the shoulder, you can raise the arm up about this much. And you do have swivel here, um, just have a really nice butterfly joint. And you can curl about this much. And you do get bicep swivel with the um, joint over here. And you have the bar wrist, of course. And for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, which is quite a lot. You can bend backwards about, uh, you can bend about this much. And for the leg, you do have the pull down method. You can kick up about this high, bend about this much, thigh swivel, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. And the skirt pieces here feels really, really nice. Like this is really soft and malleable. Like this is so cool. Kind of wish they had this for some of the older figures, especially for um, Naruto SH figure arts. But anyways, I digress and let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face and I think it looks really good. And then we have the iconic face where he is fortune telling, which looks kind of funny. Um, there's a lot of meme about it online already. And for the interchangeable hands, he really came with a lot of them. So I'm not going to go over them one by one. But what I will do is I'll show you guys during the action posing. And then we just get a bunch of effect parts. Um, they're all very straightforward. Um, really nice translucent plastics. And the sword is really, really cool. Um, I like this a lot. And then we have um, where he's shooting out these like power, really, really cool. And yeah, I think we can just jump straight into the action posing. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know what he came with. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Marvel figures I have around, and I think they look very good together. And next up, we have some good old Dragon Ball SH figure arts. Some of my recent favorite Kamen Riders. And lastly, we have the Mayfax Wolverine and some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think this figure is a really good purchase, especially for SH Figure Art Standard. Um, it looks really good, comes with a lot of stuff, and the cloth cave is really cool. Um, I know Mayfax is making another one, which looks really, really good, but 
eh, that one is quite expensive, so I'm not sure if I will get it. Um, this one will probably do it for me. And yeah, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.